What's going on? It's your boy, What Can I Change, a.k.a. Lockjaw. Alright, so this is my first episode over here on What Can I Change. Um, this is, this part, this, this, so I have my body talks over on the body show, and then, um, my sports talks, obviously, on the sports talk show, but over here, this is gonna be more my opinion on other things outside those two things, obviously. So, I wanted to talk a little bit about relationships, and a little bit about, you know, what I think, and what I go through, and uh, is it tough, um, being single, and I'm just gonna be brutally honest, you know, so, um, I'm gonna go ahead and put this up, too, as well, on, a YouTube, um, you know, I'll, every now and then I'll throw a podcast over there, if you guys aren't over here on, uh, my Spreaker account, please go to the description and check me out, I do, uh, this is where I do a little bit more talking, a little less, uh, you know, these are about more topics I kind of want to talk about, over on YouTube, I kind of do stuff that, you know, other people kind of want to hear, which I, I love doing them, don't get me wrong, but over here I can talk about things I like a little bit more, so these are why these, my podcasts don't tend to go up on YouTube, but anyway, uh, so, relationships, um, man, so be, is, is being single great, being a single bad, uh, how do you deal with it being bigger, uh, so for me, uh, I won't lie, you know, the only thing that sucks about not being in a relationship for me, at least at this moment in time, is the fact that I don't have that individual who's really loyal to what I do. There's nobody here, um, and it's a good thing and a bad thing, but there's nobody here to support my dreams. There's nobody here to support my vision. There's nobody here to say, oh, Trey, you're going to do it this one day. You know, when I, I'm the only person who really believes that one day I'll be successful in this podcasting world. Um, because I love speaking, you know, I speak on the issues and I really think that one day I have my own office and, uh, I'll be making my own podcasts and stuff like that. Um, not only here or over on this platform, but on other platforms and YouTube, maybe one of those platforms. Um, and then I'll get to go speak at engagements and stuff like that all around the world based off these podcasts. And I don't have anybody to really support that dream. All I have is me. So I have to be the one to see it. I have to be the one to go through all this. I have to be the one who works the two jobs. You know, I have to be the one putting in 80 hour weeks, not only at work, but also doing this as well. Um, and, and having to believe it, I have to believe it, you know, and it's, it's, that's the part that sucks about not being in a relationship because I don't have anybody to support me. I don't have anybody there really when I'm down and having a bad day. And I don't feel like it's gonna happen for me. There's no one there. I have to pick myself back up, you know. And like I said, I teach you to be mentally strong and to be dependent upon yourself. But it still sucks because it'd be nice to have someone there. So that's for me, relationships. That is what I miss the most. Now, to so move over to, do I think relationships are as necessary as people make it seem? Okay, I feel like people these days they make it seem like it's an insult. Well, some people do. Some people make it seem like it's an insult to um, not have a girlfriend, a boyfriend, or a husband or something. And it's like, it's really not, though. Being single isn't, like, a bad thing. I understand the concept of maybe you don't have a person because you're weird or something like that. And that's why you'll never have anybody. Or you're, that's why you're not having sex with this many women. Or that's why you're not having sex with this many guys. And I just don't believe in that. And my thing is, it's just like, it's not a bad thing to be single. Um, it's It's... It's not something you necessarily have to. It's not doesn't put you on a better ground. Like you, you're so much more dependent. You don't need anybody. It's not that either. It is a beautiful companionship, right? When you're in a great relationship, you're in a relationship with your best friend. That and so sex doesn't take over the whole thing, you know. And but sex is a part of it when you're married. And but also the talking and the being there and the loyalty and the fights and the ups and the downs and the laughing and the crying. That's what makes the relationship so beautiful. But I don't think you should feel like you're out of the loop because you're not holding hands and you're not cuddling with the girls or you don't have someone there with you and you feel alone, you know? Because it's one thing to be alone and it's one thing to be lonely. Okay, if you're just alone, yeah, you can just go get somebody and then, you know, you'll no longer be alone. But if you always have this constant feeling of lonely, even if you get a girl or a guy, it doesn't make it any different. You'll still be lonely because it's like being lonely in a room full of people. 
that won't change because there'll be times they're not there. And there'll be times where they may disappoint you and you feel even more lonely than you did before you got there. So you have to look into it. Uh, and when you go into these things, into these relationships, realize that this person really will, they can make you happier in moments, but they will not be your source of happiness. They will not be your source of joy. You cannot make someone that to, you know, and if you do that, you are headed for destruction because your dependency will be so high on them that you, your insecurities will rise even more so if they aren't already up there. And then you'll struggle and you'll struggle more and you'll struggle more as you continue on in the relationship. You know, like I said, I'm a guy who dabbles in uh, wanting to be in a relationship. The days I really want it and I may become more flirtatious. I will not lie. And it's something that I don't because there's just a part of me that that really wants somebody there for me. But I don't believe here's here's where this is where I start to lose interest. I don't believe that this person most of the time wants to be with me for the long haul. Meaning, I don't, that they, let me just come out and say it, that I have to look a certain way, right? I have to be a certain height. I have to be a certain this. I have to be a certain that. Sorry for the car that's passing by. I don't believe they're in it for all the stuff that I am instead of all the stuff I look like, you know? Yes, I could become this amazingly fit guy, but I'll still be short. You know, will that be enough for you? You know, and it's uh, vice versa. You know, sh maybe she's tall. Will I have problems with her being tall? You know, these are the things I think about a lot. And so, um, it's just stuff that goes through my head. <sighs> Sorry for the car passing by. I, I don't want to be in a relationship. If looks is going to dominate it all. Or if I have to meet certain. This. By the way. Before I continue. This mic I have. Even though I am very far away from the road. My mic is going to pick it all up. My mic is that good. It's a good and bad thing. Eventually. Hold on. Eventually I'm going to make my. My closet area that I make these videos in. I'm going to make it uh, soundproof to where you guys won't hear that. But for now, um, i got to figure out how to do that. I'm slowly learning how to do all this stuff as far as sound goes. Because when I'm making videos, it's not as bad. But when I'm making podcasts, it's not. <laughs> you can hear everything. So, with that being said, one more car. Normally, I make these at night like or early in the morning so I don't have so many vehicles. But... My mic was dead, so I couldn't make the videos. So, I had to get it on the charger and get it charged up. Back to what I was saying. So, if I get into the relationship and I'm constantly thinking about looks, and it's not their fault necessarily, it may be mine. But every time I hear about women talk, and it's fair, don't get me wrong, it's fair. But when I hear like, oh, well, he got to be tall. He's got to work out. He's got to be adventurous. He's got to be these things. It's like, man, to me, I'm... I, I hope I make sense. To me, it's like, dang. Like, when I think about my perfect girl, I don't think about anything. All I think about is, does she love God? And outside of that, nothing else really comes into play. Now, there are going to be some things that, you know, come into it like a non-smoker or a girl who doesn't drink. Like, those things are things like things that I cannot do. I'm not going to get with the girl who drinks. I'm not going to get with the guy. Uh, get with the guy. I'm not going to get with the girl who smokes. You know, those things are going to deter me. But physical features or those kind of things don't tend to matter to me. I don't really care if she works out like I do. I don't really care if she's adventurous. You know, all I care about is is she in this with me? You know, can we talk about these things? I will support her and can she support me? That's all I need. Do you believe in the dream? I will believe in your dreams to the best of my ability I have in every girlfriend I've had. You know, I'm not saying I was the best guy in those relationships. I have a lot to work on, but I've always believed in the dream. Whatever they said they wanted to do, I was behind them. That's what I want for me. I want some, and if my dreams seem really stupid, tell me, you know, do podcasting to you sound stupid? 
Now, if you say that to me, obviously, you're probably not going to work because I do believe in this. But I need I need somebody to be there. And I'm going to have other people in my life, don't get me wrong, that will help me with this too, not just her. But I will need her to be that final rock, that final say, that final person I can go to. Because her, even though, you know, me being the head of the family, I understand that, she has, she's going to have a lot of pull in any of decisions made in the family. We are a unit. We are one. So if she really, really, really believes that the decision I'm about to make is wrong, I will be far more likely to not make that decision because she really matters to me and her, her, us being one must mean she must have my best heart at interest or my best interests at heart, whichever way it goes. And so I just need somebody who will support me. That's why I always talk to when I talk to girls. Maybe the military thing happens. Maybe it doesn't. My goal is for it to happen, right? I hope it happens. Every part of me wants it to happen. Another car. Ha <laughs> ha. And another truck. So, to me, I ask these questions. There's a lot of cars right now. Like I said, I wanted to make this dirty day back up. Are you able to travel? Or are you going to be able to go with me? I want my wife with me on base. I'd rather her travel with me if I'm still in the States. Now, if I get sent overseas, it is what it is. I'll stay over here. I'm cool with that. But if I'm in the States and we're having to move from here to there to here to there, or if I do, let's say I do have to move to like Japan or something like that and I get stationed over there. Just this thing, you know, I want her to be there. I don't want to be with somebody who doesn't really believe in what I'm doing because all of this is part of a plan the military is part of the plan it's not something I'm doing on a whim it's part of the dream of where I'm trying to get to I need some you know maybe I'm just kind of pouring out a little bit here but I just need that support you know and that's what I want in a relationship and I believe when it comes to relationships people should look for that yes maybe you want them to be 6'3 okay cool you know uh, to me, you know, do what you gotta do. You know, that's not my place to say what you want or what you don't want. But also, once you get past all the physical physical features that you need, and if they work out, and if they, um, and if they like spaghetti and all that kind of stuff, and um, do they have a big truck and all those kind of things? Once you get all past all that, and once you got your preferences and you got your checklist out, once you get all past that, get somebody who really believes in you. I don't really care what your dream is because not everybody's dream is to make millions. Not everybody's dream is to be a podcaster like myself or go speak around the world. It's, it's not everybody's dream. To just get somebody who supports you. If you just want to be a mother to your kids and you want to be there for them and you want to be that rock for them, you know, and be involved in whatever else you're involved in in the community, that's great. Get somebody who supports that. Not somebody who will bring you down. For doing those things if you want to open up a flower business get somebody who supports that and will be there it will not put you down about it okay if you want you know to work at a national park you want to be ceo if you want to do these things whatever that things are you need somebody who's going to support you and believe in you because understand all of our dreams change right I maybe want to be a podcaster, and then 10 years from now, once this is actually taken off, and I'm actually in it to win it, and I'm actually speaking around the world, I may say, okay, you know what, now I kind of want to write my first novel, even though I'm not a writer, I'm just making up something, but I want to, now I want to try to, um, what's something else I could even think about doing, um, I, I want to run an ultra marathon, and I really want to be able to do that, and I want to be in an Iron Man. And I want to, you know, do that, you know, while I'm still speaking and all that. I also want to learn how to train and push myself to a, another place with running. I need somebody who will be like, okay, let's think about this. Let's sit down. Do you really want to do this? All right. We're going to take some steps, okay? And that may be a year. I may say I want to be an ultra runner and it doesn't happen for two years because we sat down. We talked about it. Not every day, but often. You know, often enough to where when I, 
you know, we can at least see, do I still care about this? What's the reasoning behind it? What's the pros? What's the cons? What's the greatness behind it? Is it an insecurity of mine because I was fat? You know, that's real stuff, you know? So you really want somebody who's going to support everything, not everything you do. I mean, support you in your decisions, but is also going to be there for you to be like, hey, I don't think that's the greatest decision. And, let's, and, you, and you talk it out and you realize, hey, you know what? You're right. I was doing this for the wrong reason. I thought I liked it. And obviously, this is not where I needed to go. And so I'm not going to do it. Man, what a great relationship where both of you have an actual input. It's not one dominating figure saying, oh, this is the way it's going to be. Live with it. Or another person is like, why do you keep trying to go for these stupid dreams? You know, I want to love my wife. I want her to love me. And when we can do that and then we can have a, a family, below, you know, kids that can see that from both of us, that we both care about each other and that we can both make um, decisions as a unit because we care about each other. Man, I kind of went off on a little thing, didn't I? But that is my take on uh, what I look for in a relationship and kind of what you should look for in a relationship. Um, like I said, I don't care about all the stuff, the big trucks and all the other stuff. You want to do that? Awesome. Great. Do what you must. But at the same time, get somebody who really wants to be in this for you. Not what you look like currently or what you have currently. Because you, my last thing on this, because you may go through a struggle. Okay. When you're going for a dream, you may struggle. Are you, do you have a it is nothing wrong with being with a guy who is struggling I'm not saying he flat out is lazy and he doesn't do anything he doesn't have a job or anything but a guy who's in the in the grind he's putting in his hours you know he's putting in the work at work but he's also struggling you know to uh make it happen for him you know it just takes some time to get there you know just keep believing. Just keep believing in what he's doing. My guys, there's nothing wrong with the girl who's struggling. Okay? I'm not saying she doesn't do anything. and She's lazy and she does nothing. But I am saying if she's working and grinding, but she's struggling, right? Even if that means financially. You know, she doesn't have the best looking vehicle. She doesn't, she's not, she doesn't have the best wearing clothes. She wears what she can afford. You know, same these are go vice versa just go both ways she 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 wears what she can afford you know she's doing the best she can with things she has but at the same time she has a dream and she, for her to get there she has to save for those things so she's saving a lot of money and not spending it on things you know and she's very very frugal you know and she doesn't feel like she has to um do these things for other people to see that she has money and so be with her during that be with her for those struggles and those times if her dream is bigger than your dream here's what i mean and this goes both ways again even if her dream is gonna make her more money than you will ever make okay you're gonna work at your local burger shop okay because that's what you love and you're gonna work there for probably the rest of your life you know you know and if she's you know and her job is a traveling job right and so her job is going to keep her in the same city or something like that. And you work at the local burger joint. And you do that for 30 years. And you make, you know, your whatever you make a year. And she's gonna, and she's making six, seven figures. You know, and she's making a lot more money than you. Be okay with that. She's living her dream. You're living your dream, you know. And, you're, and part of your dream is for her to live her dream. You know. And so it's okay. Don't feel like you're less of a man because she makes more than you. Y'all are one, you know? It's not about the money. It's about you two. And don't, so don't let people get in the way and start saying all these things of, oh, well, she got more money, or he's only with you because of whatever. And the same thing for the men. If you're making the six, seven figures, and she's she's a housewife, who cares, okay? It doesn't really matter. And it and, and vice versa. If she makes all the money, and he's a, he's a guy who stays at home and takes care of the kids. Okay. To me, it's not that big a deal. If you really think that's that big a deal and you can't get past your own insecurities of, no, the man's got to make the most, or no, um, 
there's no way she can make the most, you know, or, sh or it's, it's a shame that she's a housewife. If you feel like your insecurities are that deep that people can't do what they want to do and live their lives and be joyful with one another because they're in their harmony and they talk about these things and they're doing what they got to do and they're doing what they feel is right. If your insecurities are too deep to have a housewife or your, your insecurities are too deep to be a housewife, you know, um, should that even come up, you know, or same thing for a husband. If, you know, she's making enough and somebody needs to take care of the kids. If your insecurities are too deep as a male to stay home and take care of your kids while she works because she just happens to have a job that she loves and it happens to make plenty of money for the both of you. If you don't have enough in you to do that, then there's something wrong. You know, there's something wrong with you. And maybe you don't need to be in a relationship, you know. But that's it, guys. You know, get somebody who supports your dreams. That is the key of this talk, okay? If you don't, it's going to be a long road for you. That means anytime any finances, struggles comes up, and you you went there to support in the beginning, it's going gonna, it's gonna to break. That doesn't mean, all right, here's my last thing. I'm sorry. That doesn't mean you shouldn't say something if you feel like it's a bad idea. Everybody has a choice in here. We should talk about our decisions. If you see that the finances are going down and maybe they got too many irons, you know, what do you saw too many irons in the fire? Say something. But like, all right, hold up, hold up. We do have things we got to take care of. Maybe you can work until the dream starts to become true maybe you can work a little bit more i understand it'll be tough and i'll be here as much as i can for you or maybe i can start working and maybe we can get this going um financially it's kind of tough that doesn't mean we give up the first that doesn't mean you give up the first time finances come up and you're a little bit broke that doesn't mean you're like oh dream's over no you may have to struggle for a good minute and then you will come back come back to it have a real sit down reevaluate and see if do we want to keep going if, do we see this working yes or no okay not relationship i'm talking about the dream whoever's dream it is at the time okay all right i think i said everything i want to say i'm looking for a relationship i just need somebody who's supporting all the other stuff that comes with it you know everybody's got their thresholds like i said for me no smoking no drinking you know i have my you gotta love God, and that, for me, that's that's where it's gonna the lines are still gonna start getting drawn. Now you should have those, okay? Don't settle, but outside of that, like the physical, they gotta be tall, they gotta be short, they gotta be athletic, they got all those things. Just kind of, you know, be a little bit lenient on those things because you may miss out on somebody who was really great for you because they weren't tall enough. You may miss out on somebody who was really great for you guys. And she wasn't a certain size or her, she didn't look a certain way or she wasn't a blonde, you know, or something like that. So just be good. Look for supporting somebody who supports you. Love one another. All right. Cool, man. Thank you for tuning out, um, tuning in. If you want to check out more on the podcast, you know, go to my speaker uh, down low in the description. And go down there. And uh, I got a lot of podcasts coming. I have podcasts in my sports. In the body. And this one will be, like I said, more for miscellaneous topics. Alright? Peace.